Hi guys, welcome to this video about the video quality comparison between Microsoft Movie Maker and Cyberlink PowerDirector. So the Microsoft Movie Maker of course is free and quite old and the PowerLink Cyber uh, CyberLink PowerDirector is not a free product. Uh, it's it's uh, updated every year and you have to pay for that so um, here I ha am having I just took down I downloaded the video and put it into the timeline like here in the Microsoft Movie Maker you can see that I just put it in I've not done any video stabilization nothing I didn't change the uh, speed but I um yeah i muted the sound in the player so you can't say uh, and there was no no real sound anyway because of the wind uh, the waves were almost impossible to hear but i didn't change anything no settings no special color change optimization nothing that, that that's standard uh, from the movie maker and the power link cyber director here you see the power uh, uh, cyber link power director at the end i've done also comparison side by side this is what you can see now hold on i think that's this file so here you see that side by side okay but actually this is the thing which i'm going to show you at the end so let's start first with the files so at the top we have the file produced by the power director from cyberlink it's 107 megabytes uh, compared to 41 megabytes from the movie maker i've been using the absolute same settings so here you can see when I go to file you can save it uh, and you have st different settings you can use defined uh, settings and I have created uh, 720p settings with 40 megabits per second which is actually absolutely same with the default settings for 720p in the cyberlink power director um, the default setting you have to be careful with the movie maker the default settings it's uh, for 720p is only 10 megabits per, per second because of course the Microsoft movie maker is an older video editor and that uh, like it was from 10 years ago or so when it was created or even more time uh, longer uh, 15 years ago and they didn't have these large hard disks not so much online space and they were trying to save space so they were trying to make smaller files but you can change that that's absolutely no problem so i have adapted these settings here uh, to the same as in the cyberlink power director but at the end it turned out the uh, file from the um, power director was about three almost three times the size as the movie maker and to produce it took also a little bit longer for this I don't can't remember about 20 seconds video 22 seconds or so it took the movie maker about nine seconds the power link cyber uh, <laughs> cyber link power director it took about um, 14 seconds I think it was almost 50% longer and so you would expect that the quality of the cyberlink power director would be better of course because it took longer it has a bigger file and it's n it's a newer program first we start with the file from the um, here file from the movie um, yeah movie maker and you can see that it's really smooth um, picture is sharp uh, and it's smooth it's not like jumping around it's not getting stuck or something like that I don't know maybe it could be because of the video size I don't know if this is related I'm using the uh, 
the the uh, we, VLC the media player uh, from the yeah the VLC media player and you can see it's it's really smooth so when you when we go to the other file I hope you can see that here um, hold on a second yeah that's the thing here that's the bigger file and I have the impression that it's a little bit more like it it, it it like almost getting stuck sometimes it's not so smooth it's definitely not so smooth as the Microsoft Movie Maker file and but I didn't know I mean it's everything good the picture I mean the colors sharpness I mean it's as good as it gets I've made this video with, with my old smartphone I've been even zooming in I didn't have a tripod I was just and it was really windy it was during Hurricane Michael it was pretty windy I did it uh, on the Pier 16 Clearwater so but it it, it uh, I mean the quality is about like the picture is about what you see what I was recording but it it uh, the file from the subling power director seems to be a li li little bit more getting stuck um, it's but it's maybe just because of the VLC media player I don't know it's one of the best media players so far uh, as far as I can see um, at least from the the uh, like regarding yeah the, the, when you want free free ones so um yeah i also did then a comparison side by side this was done with within the uh cyberlink power director i've done this side by side of course it's not it does not represent the original uh it's uh, like again it has to, it had to be rendered again and on the left side you see the file from the cyberlink power director on the right side you see the uh, movie maker file the colors are very similar i think on the left side the colors are a little bit better i mean i, I like them a little bit more maybe they have been improved a little bit on the right side they seem to be a little bit more natural maybe a little bit more washed out it's hard to tell actually uh, regarding sharpness I'm just showing a little bit uh, a few of the keyframes and you can see that it's hard to find any difference be uh, regarding uh, sharpness when you go along the bridge all these wooden pieces I mean it's about same detail uh, left power director right movie maker uh, when I go forward here also the waves I had the impression that it the quality was a little bit uh, but just really little bit better with the cyberlink power director I had a few frames especially with really fast speed uh, maybe we can see that in front of this post but it, it's hard to tell it's hard to tell I think I have found at the end one thing in the sand wave in the sand I had the impression that on the left side this area is a little bit more clear than on the right side with the movie maker so yeah the movie maker produced smaller file I mean it's free it produces smaller file it was a little bit faster but I think and 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 the player playing thing was a little bit smoother but I'm not sure if it's really on the file here when I played it side by side I couldn't notice this uh, jumping and getting stuck again but I had the impression that at the end the uh, power director quality 
was a little bit better here can you see a difference regarding jumping around and getting stuck or i i, I can't see this here anymore it i think it was just on the vlc player um yeah if i would have to choose i mean the microsoft movie maker is free and it's stable and it it's it's uh, produces a nice small uh files uh, but i think if you want to have a little bit more flexibility and maybe a little bit more quality then uh, and you're ready to pay a little bit then it's maybe better if you go with the powerlink cyber uh, cyberlink power director um i will double check rego uh, regarding this smoothness but i think uh, the winner on on this thing is the power link as i blink power <laughs> director so that's it for now uh, by the way if you want to know what i'm using i've been using microsoft movie maker for years and i've been switching now to cyberlink power director because it has much more options it has better filters it has like better blurring easier uh, things it has uh, more tracks the uh, movie maker just has actually one track and the uh, power director it has uh, several tracks for video several tracks for audio that helps sometimes extremely and so i'm going now with the power director so i uh, hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel and yeah if you have any questions just write to the comment section below i'm always happy to talk about these things if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time